Hey, it's Nick with Push Industries here, and today we're going to talk about snowblower reinforcement side plates. So, uh, snowblowers do see a lot of abuse, and in order to help keep them protected, we have a heavy duty side plates that will basically double the thickness of your stock snowblower plate. Uh, these are about 0 0.20, so just under a quarter inch, and our heavy duty side plates are about the same, so you're gonna basically double and be almost a half inch thick once these are on. Great way to keep your snowblower nice and true and uh, keep it working good for a long time. Here we have an older snowblower that's had a, a good amount of use to it. And as you can see, they do start to get some bends and twists. Uh, the cool thing about those side plates is not only does it protect them, but you could take a snowblower like this that has some damage, and then you can actually straighten it back out um, by pulling some of those bends and bows out of it uh, and keep it stronger so it doesn't happen again. And it is important to keep this all true because that's what your auger spins on. And so if you start bending your plates, it'll get out of alignment and wreck bearings and vibrate uh, so it is important to make sure that everything does stay straight and true so let's get right into the installation the first step is prepping the snowblower for these plates uh, we're going to need to remove the bottom two bolts on either side which is your skid shoes those will need to come off and then as well as if you have the guide bars some tractors only have one, some have two. Those are gonna to need to come off as well. And uh, again, the skid plates, the skid shoes on the other side as well. Okay, and here we are removing the skid shoes. It's gonna be two half inch uh, bolts. And you're just gonna take them all the way off. Okay, and now we're going to remove that guide bar. It's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt and nut. And this tractor only has one, so we're just removing one. So with the snowblower prepped, uh, we can begin to get ready to install these. It's important to note that there is two different sets of hardware in here depending on which snowblower you have. So we are gonna use the longer set, which is right there. And uh, what we find works really well to get this mounted and drilled is we're going to take the plates, stick it up onto the side of the snowblower using some of the existing holes, because we are gonna have to drill some, we'll be able to hold the new plate in place with the bolts and then be able to use the new side plate as a template and we'll uh, use a center punch mark the holes drill them and then uh, get it all installed and it's important to note we do have a green snowblower here so we are using our green plates uh, we do also offer yellow plates if you have an older snowblower so we'll match so this next step's a little helpful to maybe have an extra set of hands but what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and put a bolt through here and those two, and then the bottom two on the foot pads that you removed to get it locked into place. And so we're just simply putting these in to hold it in place so we can drill the new holes and use the side plate as a template. And it's important to put as many bolts in as you can because it'll help keep it all true and lined up when you go to punch your holes. So these side plates are on loosely, but you can see that before we start drilling, there is a little bit of play here. 
and we want to make sure before we reef these down, we kind of follow the profile with our finger that the plate is in the proper place and then tighten it down. So it's important to make sure you're happy with the alignment before you tighten these template bolts down and punch and drill your holes. So we'll do that next. So the side plates are nice and aligned. The bolts are all snugged up. We're ready to punch in uh, some markings for our holes. We have this center punch here. This is an 11 30 seconds and it's going to fit nicely into these holes. And so all we have to do is whack it with a ham hammer and it'll transfer a punch mark and then we can drill it out and it'll be perfectly lined up. And Pat's going to make the first mark with the center punch. We'll pop that off so you can see we got a nice little dimple. We'll, we'll wind up popping this plate off and then go back and hit him again with a different punch. Number two. Three. Four. And five. plate is going to come off. I'm going to set it back on our plastic and you can see we got our punch marks and we're going to go in now and we're going to give them one more whack with just a regular punch to really make sure they're marked good. Okay, and then now we're gonna make the first pass with a, like a 3 16 drill bit just to get everything started. So the drill bit follows those punch marks really nicely and we can really ensure nice, true centered holes. Okay, so we made all of our holes with the 3 16 and uh, now we're going to go to step it up to 930 seconds before we go to our final hole size. And now we're going to do them all to our final hole size of 1330 seconds. So all the holes are to the proper size and you'll notice there's maybe a little bit of a, an edge from the drill. So we're just going to run a deburring tool through them quick. Just kind of get them all nice and cleaned up. All the holes are deburred. Time to put the plate in place and begin to fasten it. Holes are all lining up nice. I find it's helpful to get the carriage bolts in first, get everything in place, tightened up, and then put your skids on, your skid bolts last, once you have everything aligned and, and held into place. All the carriage bolts are on, the 10 millimeter bolts are on, and now it's just time to put the plow skid on. All right, so we've got one side all done. Looks super nice. And we just got to do the other side. Okay, so we're back. We got the other side just about done. Pat's finishing it up. Finishing touches. I think we're done. Oh, I think you missed one. We got one more bolt to do, and then we'll be good to go. All right, we're done for real this time. Everything's in. 
both sides, ready to go. Nice, perfect fit, doubles the thickness. Never gonna have an issue. Some other cool stuff on this snowblower. We got the 320 degree shoot rotation kit. It's all chain driven, gets rid of the cable. We have our shoot, deflector, actu shoot deflector actuator with our storm boot, our stainless steel hinge. Eliminates the OEM plastic hinge that breaks and then the four blade all metal impeller. Really flings the snow and eliminates the issues with the plastic impeller 